Some time ago, I demonstrated you how to install your S4 HANA-like sandbox based on ABAP Platform Trial 1909. It's a great, free environment for developers and basis administrators. The included license gives you the opportunity to test the system for three months. Time runs fast and that period is coming to an end, so it's time to renew the license for another three months. I will show you step by step how to do it. I'm logging into my A4H sandbox system using SAP Logon program. As you can see, I get a warning that my license will expire in 12 days. For now, this doesn't cause any problems with the system's operation, but it's a good idea to refresh your license in advance. I run S license transaction to see what the situation is and get the hardware key. I see that two licenses are installed, maintenance and standard NetWeaver. Both licenses have a yellow status due to the message in the last column. Valid, but expires soon. Both expire on March 9. At the top, I have information about the hardware key, installation and system number. There is also a field there with the expiration date of the license. What I will need from here is the hardware key, which I copy to the clipboard. I open a web browser because the licenses are generated on SAP's support pages. In the URL bar, I type the address, go.support.sap.com slash mini SAP. A site opens where I have a selection of various systems. I select A4H, which refers to ABAP platform trial, even though it doesn't explicitly say so. I scroll to the bottom of the page where I have several fields to fill in. I check the license agreement. Of course, I read very carefully this important but very long document. I enter my name so that SAP can clearly see that they are not facing just any wizard but Sapdolf. In the hardware key field, I paste the value copied in the S license transaction. I enter my email. After entering the real data, I click on the Generate button. As you can see, the license is downloaded. I can open it to see the contents while it is just a text file. I go back to SAP and select one of the licenses. From the Edit menu, I choose to delete the license. I confirm. I do the same with the other license. I also confirm. I press the button for installing a new license. I select the file I downloaded earlier. I confirm granting access to the file. The application confirms that the two licenses have been successfully imported. A new date appears in the license expires on field. The status of both licenses is also green. Everything is ready. I can log out and you can consider subscribing to the channel. I hope the tutorial was useful. May your licenses always shine green like traffic lights on your life routes. See you. Until next time.